guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. I'm back here at one of my very special locations because guess what? We have a super special reason. I have the all new redesigned 2021 Lexus IS350 F Sport. And then on top of that, we got a little bit of, cher of a cherry on our Sunday. This one has the dynamic handling package. Now, before we dive into this infrared, just ruby sparkling here in the Florida sun, let's talk about what's going on here. So. Lexus, this brand that's been around since 1989. It's the premium brand, brand of Toyota. LS, IS, ES, these are great vehicles that over the years have really built a reputation for Lexus as a reliable brand, a brand of high luxury, and also of performance. Now for 2021, Lexus actually developed this IS350 F Sport at an all new test track designed over in Japan to really get down to the nitty gritty of setting up that chassis for ultimate handling. And with this dynamic handling package, it's gonna deliver a bunch of that goodness. Now on top of that, you're gonna get, of course, that great reliability and really an interior that when you compare it to other luxury brands, especially those Euro brands, I really feel like Lexus does something special, but for this 2021 IS350, there are some extra things that they've done with the redesign. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this infrared. That's the name of the color, unique color specific to this layout and see really, is it the ultimate sports luxury coupe that you should be parking in your garage? Right off the bat, the color, it just draws you in like a moth to a flame and we have some redesign to the whole entire vehicle. Starting up front, because we have an F Sport all IS350s are going to be F Sports. So they took the guessing game out of it. They took like pin the ta tail on the donkey out of it. You get an IS350, you're going to get an F Sport. The only question you need to ask yourself, do you want to go with the dynamic handling package, which this one has? Now, our IS350, you could look at, has those triple LED beam headlights set up. I love how small they're getting with the headlight housing. And I also am really digging the signature daytime running lamp, which of course is also full LED, but the sharp lines really just draws the eye to the attention to detail. And all your rods and cones in the back of your retina are just gonna be firing like crazy when you're looking at this infrared IS350 F Sport, of course. Now, as you drop down, a little bit of gloss black, but here's the great news. This is a functional side air curtain. I love the way the gloss black kind of extends out from the bodywork, but then it tucks back in gives it that nice angular design that I think Lexus does oh so well. Now, when we come across that unique spindle grill design, this massive open grill design is something that Lexus ushered in and they've really attached themselves to it. You see this car from a million miles away. You could be on the moon right now looking down at earth. You see this going down the road, you know it's a Lexus based off of this grill design. So you have the gloss black, spindle grill that nice waterfall design we have a forward facing camera up front i like the way they did the exterior really really well done except for this top portion i'm glad that they didn't wrap it all the way around the perimeter it really gives it a nice clean look you're going to have functional intakes on both corners obviously we're trying to bring air to that naturally aspirated v6 but also for brake cooling and whatnot so you can see the width, you can see the redesign, very aggressive, but with that nice luxury extra flavor to it. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I love the way the hood meets with the front fascia. That color, it just, I'm telling you, I can't stop staring at it. I'm glad I have my towel because I'm almost drooling on myself right now. But you can see the nice hard body line starts right in the middle and then everything curves gently towards the A pillar. Nice rise to it. So it has like that power bulge that we're always talking about on Radies Rise. I know all of you want a bulge, a nice big bulge. It has that rise there to kind of simulate that bulge in a, in a very nice, sporty, luxury way. Now, as we come around the bend, get ready for some goodness on this dynamic handling package. So when you go with the handling package, you're getting these forged, not cast, forged BBS wheels. It's a 19 inch wheel. Love the design. It almost has like a tuning fork style to it. Love the flat black with the infrared color, you're gonna get a nice size caliper that's gonna squeeze down on those rotors. And I'm telling you, the work that they did with the double wisp wishbone suspension, the adaptive shock absorbers at all four corners, all that work at the test track in Japan is really gonna pay big dividends and wait for our on-throttle 
twisty treat of a drive, we're gonna have some fun. I promise you that, but that's a 19 inch wheel, 19 by eight and a half up front to give you a little bit quicker steering. And then we got 19 by nine and a half out back because remember the greatest news, this is real wheel drive. You can option all wheel drive, but on the IS350 S-Sport, real wheel drives drive goodness. I love the way they didn't put any vents or anything. You got your F-Sport badge looking super clean with the white, with the dark gun metal on that. And then as we continue down the side, some gloss black on the very, very sexy shaped side mirror. So gloss black, some slim and trim LED lights, a little bit of chrome. And that's the thing is there's just a sprinkling of chrome here and there. You're gonna have your standard size sunroof, shiny trim around top and bottom. I am gonna zonk it. I wish they just would have left it gloss black or a flat black. I think that kind of would have fit a little bit more into the whole F-Sport theme, but I do like that lower side sill extension. Look at how it peeks out and then tucks back in as you come towards the rear. And one of my favorite body lines is right here. Look at the way it almost has a flared fender look as this body line comes at an angle towards the rear of the vehicle. Even the way they flared out the trim at the back gives it a really nice just overall flow from front to back and then looking at the rears like i said these are a little bit wider so out back you got a 265 35 series sidewall but boy oh boy those bbs wheels forge remember less rotating mass it's a stronger wheel than cast aluminum and it's less rotating mass plus we have a limited slip differential not lsd that you took back in the 60s but an lsd gonna help us get grip like the 60s we're going out of style as we come around the bend Dynamic handling package, one nice touch is this big old piece of carbon fiber, beautiful trunk lid spoiler. Look at how everything is stacked. I mean, it's just amazing all the great lines, the width. You could see how I was telling you with that flared fender, really you could see it from the rear, the way they did the LED date, um, LED uh, brake lights. You got your carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler. This is all stuff that was developed at the racetrack. It wasn't like they found some chewing gum and then kind of said, hey, let's just stick it here. Everything was trimmed out at the racetrack. And then as we come to the rear, look at the way we have one exhaust on each side. Now there is a bunch of gloss black and I'm not 100% sold on it, but I am sold on the aggressive rear diffuser area. I like the way they flared out the corners. And then what they did was they dropped the DOT required reflectors, just dropped them in there, perfect. Does it need to be a fake vent? That's a perfect place to put it, but you can see all the beautiful folds, the IS350 badge. Another nice thing to know is at night, this lights up all the way across from one side to the other. You got your F-Sport badge, but boy, oh boy, very aggressive from front to back. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering our IS350 F-Sport. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You can see you have your two hydraulic hood struts. Underneath that hood, there is a massive plastic cover and the reason why I'm going to zonk it, I'm not digging this silver. I wish they would have done like even faux carbon fiber, I think would have been fine or just left it all black. But what you have is that tried and true V6. So you're looking at a naturally aspirated V6, 311 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. It's that's a 3.5 liter V6. It is made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. We do have that limited slip differential out back and when it comes to the handling package, we have the adaptive variable suspension. Of course, up front, like I mentioned, we have a double wish wishbone suspension plus the rear multi-link independent rear suspension. And then if you want to know, well, Joe, what about performance? Zero to 60 in about 5.6 seconds, top speed, 143 miles an hour, MPGs, 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, and the Lexus IS350, I think the sore spot is a little bit the weight. You're looking at 3,748 pounds. What I would have liked to have seen if they could have shaved it down to around 3,400, 3,500 pounds. I think that would just lighten up the whole chassis, of course, but also bring even more dynamic handling. Now, with this setup, you're gonna have that tried and true reliability that I was telling you about, but why don't we go ahead Let's fire up this 2021 IS350 F Sport and hear what it sounds like.
All right, guys, we're inside the 2021, all new 2021 Lexus IS350 F Sport. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at Audis, I've been looking at BMWs, I've been looking even at Mercedes AMG products. I've always had an Lexus IS in the back of my mind, but I'm really digging the changes. How much is this one? You're looking at with the dynamic handling package, with the infrared special paint job, MSRP right around $55,250. Let's see what you get for this real wheel drive luxury sports coupe. To the door panels, I do like the soft touch material. I wish they would have done a little bit more to the top portion, but it is soft touch. I like the way it has a nice curve. Where they really knock it out of the park is that leather in the midsection. Ornamental design, intricate work, makes it stand out from the rest. The contrast stitching, even that wood trim around the switch gear, it's not gloss black, it's not just flat black, it looks classy, it's super clean. The sore spot's gonna be the door pocket. Now you can get a bottle of Mr. Pib, a bottle of water, even a bottle of Yoohoo in there, but you're only gonna have to be able to fit just one Chipotle burrito in there. No guac, guac costs extra, plus you're probably gonna squirt guac all over the place if you try to shove it in that door pocket. Now where they really, continue the clean lines is the dash. I love the soft touch material, the stitch work. A lot of people are going to say, well, this isn't totally redesigned. And guess what? You're right. But they're still doing a great job with the overall style. Where they really knock it out of the park is the new infotainment system. So that's a 10.3 inch screen, obviously horizontal display. The great news is it's a touch screen. So you just simply touch whatever you want to make it happen. It's got Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa, and Android Auto. As you can see, we have full navigation, which is great. And then if I hit the menu button, I could show you across the bottom here how you could go into your climate controls if you want, adjust everything on the screen. Sp since we're speaking of screens, let me throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera. We do have trajectory and we do have 360. Plus, I love what Lexus does with their forward facing camera. So you push the button on the business end, it gives you a 360 scan. So if you're at the mall and you're wondering, are there any creepers staring at you or hiding anywhere in the dark shadows, you could actually see them on this 360 scan of the, of the uh, car. And if you're wondering, well, what's going on here? It's because we have the door open. When the door is closed, it would do a full 360 scan. Let me hit menu again. Let me hit map again. And there we are right back to our navigation. Now you have your start stop button, easily place, easy to get to. I love the analog Lexus clock that they use, the gunmetal gray. This looks really classy. Now, one thing that they did, I'm not 100% sold on, is the gloss black around the switch gear for your AC controls. You do have that really easy to use swiping feature, which is great. Dual climate, of course. CD player, go ahead and listen to Tag Team. Whoop, there it is. You can put that CD in there, just like it was 1994 all over again. This is a Mark Levinson system, 19 speaker Mark Levinson system. A Little bit more of that wood style trim. I wish they would have stuck with that rather than the gloss black, but you know, they are trying to make the changes to make everybody happy. But one thing I learned as a teacher, 18 years high school teacher, you're never gonna make everybody happy. But you do have heated seats, ventilated seats, and the good news is they're simple buttons. You don't have to go into the infotainment. The buttons are right here. You have your, your uh, control knob to go through your different modes, which when you go IS350, you are getting that Sport Plus mode, and that's gonna adjust all the parameters of how the vehicle behaves. Shut that pesky traction control off. You even have snow mode. This is gonna control that eight-speed automatic transmission. I love the perforated leather on the shift knob. You do have the pesky Lexus trackpad, which actually works great when you're sitting still. I, just driving and using this, you're, ask, you're asking for an accident to happen. But when I'm sitting here in the parking lot, it's real simple. You just drag your finger and you could click on whatever you want and get into all the settings. It's just, it's a little bit of a too much ask of a task to do while you're driving the vehicle. You do have your two cup holders. Here is our Lexus key fob, super clean. It's got the nice gun metal. There's your buttons on the back. You can play your red horn when you're freaking out. Love the armrest, super soft, the stitch work. Open her up, we have felt lining. So you could easily put about 16 Twinkies in here. And with the felt lining, you're not gonna scratch your Twinkie, but you also have a 12 volt, two USBs and an aux jack in there. My one zonk is, where's my wireless charging? No wireless charging in this $55,000 car. But what I do like is over here, the nice soft material. For your knees and i'm telling you wait until we take this down the twisty bits your passenger and you are going to want to have that in case you do bump this area but it's super soft 
So it's like a, it's like strapping a, a, a roll of Charmin right here, but it looks a lot sexier than a white roll of Charmin. What is sexy are these seats. Leather all the way down. I want to thank the cows that sacrificed their lives. The stitch work, the perforated material, classy, sporty, but also luxurious. You got your controls on the side. They are 10-way adjustable. And then to wrap it off, you do have a standard size sunroof which is a nice extra touch. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind this leather wrapped steering wheel in our IS350 F Sport. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this IS350 F Sport. I love the aluminum sill plate with the F Sport name right there to welcome you each and every time. Lexus did a bang up job on that dead pedal. This is what I'm talking about. Nice large dead pedal with the aluminum finish allows you to support yourself through the twisty bits. Great job on the brake pedal. And even that throttle looks like it's right out of their IMSA WeatherTech Series RCF that they race in the GTD class. Now, you do have your great seat controls, easy to get to. That lower lumbar, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of headroom in here, which is awesome, even with the sunroof. And then, of course, the steering wheel. Now, I love the steering wheel, but then there's parts of it that I don't love. So the things I love about the steering wheels, I love the thickness. I love the soft perforated leather. You get that baseball style stitching all the way around on the sides. I wish it was flat bottom, but I do like the F-Sport badge. The one thing I'm really kind of scratching my head is the wood finish here. Now I know that they do have some wood finish on the door panels, but this would have been nice. If I have a carbon fiber trunklet spoiler, I would love this to be carbon fiber. So I am going to zonk that even though it does look classy, which I know it's a balance of sport and class in this style of car. You do have the paddles on the back of the steering wheel. They are plastic, but you are able to go up and down that eight-speed automatic transmission. And then guess what? Lexus says that dash is LFA inspired, and I believe them. It's an eight-inch TFT display. I really love the clarity. And when we're in Sport Plus mode, you can see how the tech has that beautiful white finish. Now watch as I go through the different modes. You go into Eco, everything changes. So I really, really am digging the different features that they have. You have your fuel gauge, your cooling gauge, and then everything else is totally fine. That's all you need. Super clear so that you could focus on the job at hand. You could even have a gear indicator there when you're manually shifting, which I love. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the back seat and see if your passengers are going to love carving some corners like it's Thanksgiving Day turkey in this IS350 F Sport. All right, guys, back seat time. Uh, one thing I definitely want to point out is being a little on the taller side, it is a little tighter back here. Now, when you're comparing it to a, a BMW 3 Series or uh, you know a, a Mercedes-Benz CLA, I, I still think it's going to be tight no matter what, but getting in is fine. It's just this, I wish they would have just carved out the headliner a little bit more, but the seats are super comfortable back here. You are going to have the leather all the way around the back and the way that they kind of curve it down gives you a little bit more leg room. Of course, we have nice back seat pockets on both sides. You could put a tennis racket back there. You could put uh, maybe a, a pair of, uh, you know, seat clamps or something. Just have those in there for whenever you need them. You do have your two AC vents, no connectivity. So that is a zonk. In the 21st century, at least give me a 12 volt back here so I could go to Target and get a USB adapter for my phone, but no connectivity. What you do get though, is a nice style armrest and you push this little lever here and you get your two cup holders that pop out. Seat material though is second to none. I love the perforated leather, the simplicity of the headrest and whatnot, but why don't we get to the trunk and see how much room you have in this IS350 F Sport. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. Real simple, you press the button underneath the Lexus logo, you lift it up and you know what? decent size on the width and once you get inside it does have a nice low floor so you could get some taller objects in there you're looking at around 10.3 cubic feet of space the seats are going to do a 60 40 tango split if you're going to costco and you're loading up on the big boxes of chips cookies and maybe even some supersized charmin uh, packages as well you could get that all tucked in but why don't we go ahead let's get to the best part we have a lexus is350 s sport with the dynamic handling package, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take it down some twisty bits and see how it goes. All right, guys, we're at our favorite location. Going to see how uh, we do through some twisty bits. Do a little bit of on-throttle acceleration. On-throttle, here we go. Nice. I'm telling you, good feedback coming to the front end here. those 
brakes. Here we go. Good, good input. Very good input. Look at this. So let's talk about what just happened back there. Great feedback coming to the wheel. Initial turn in, very, very crisp. She's poised exactly where you want as you turn in, and the chassis stays extremely stable. Having that real wheel drive set up allows you to kind of move around the rear with throttle application so that you can kind of square off the turn. Visibility, it's interesting because it's a little tight where the eight pillars are, but looking through the turn, because of the width of the side glass, allows you to really see your mark super well. Bolstering up top, just a perfect amount to where it's gonna hold you in place, but it, it doesn't feel like a Recaro or a race seat. Down below, pretty decent. I've been able to take the seat and kind of position the bottom cushion a little bit up in the front to hold me into place. Everything is well laid out and I promise you that if you wanted a touch screen and you don't want to use the trackpad, reaching to the touch screen is a cinch and it's very, very uh, short reach, which is great. So you're not going to be leaning over in the vehicle. Visibility out the back, the way that Lexus shaped the headrest super clean side mirrors are massive they're sexy massive and they give you great visibility but nice light steering of course i have it in sport plus mode and it really allows you to take full advantage of all the parameters of how the eight speed behaves with the v6 it would have been nice to have a little bit more power 350 horsepower i think would be right at the sweet spot for the, the chassis, the way the chassis is set up and the way that the car is balanced. But still, very, very fast, smooth shifts from the eight-speed automatic. The paddles, it's interesting. They kind of flare out the edges so that they come a little closer to the perimeter of the steering wheel. So they're easy to reach um, and kind of to click from one gear to another. The dash is super clean. It'd be nice if there was a head-up display so I don't have to look at the dash at all, but the way the V6 comes in naturally aspirated, very low, pulls all the way to redline, which is great news. All right, guys, here we go. Dead stop on throttle acceleration. Feeding the throttle. Release, here we go. Yeah. Decreasing radius here. Very, very smooth on the transitions. I really, really like the way you can feel the weight transfer from front to rear, rear to front, depending on throttle or braking and you really feel like you could carry the speed, which is nice. And that's what you're gonna to wanna to do in this car because you don't have a ton of horsepower. You're gonna to wanna to carry the speed a little bit more, keep that momentum going. And if you have to kind of choke up on it because you made a mistake on your line or you went too hot into the turn, that's where it's really gonna hurt you on that exit of the turn. Here we go, dead stop again on throttle. Look at this, this is great. Very, very balanced on that turn. And here's where we're gonna see the test. Nice. Pivot with the rear. Very, very composed. I, I could feel the lighter steering input, especially because we do have that dynamic handling package, and it really just makes you feel confident, which is wonderful. All right, guys, I kind of lied one more time. Here we go, on throttle.
maintain the momentum, especially through this last set. Here we go. Planted, planted. Nice smooth downshifts. Really, really great. Of course, it would be awesome to take this onto a track and really push the outer limits a little bit more, but for a daily driver, a four-door car, it's a car you could enjoy each and every day. If you have some twisty bits by where you live, especially better ones than I have, you're gonna really have a blast in this thing. And boy, oh boy, is she a looker. It's one of those cars that you're definitely gonna park and keep staring at as you walk away. But we're gonna get back to our special location and wrap this up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day with a Lexus product. I wanna first off thank Josh over at Lexus and of course, Corey and Zach over at Toyota for getting us access to this redesign IS350 F Sport with the dynamic handling package. Boy, oh boy, what a sexy shape. But when the road starts to go from straight to twisty, as you saw, very planted, very dynamic. I, I get why they gave it that name because when you're going from left to right and right to left, really the chassis work that was done over in Japan at that special test track really pays huge dividends with this IS350 F Sport. Having that naturally aspirated low down torque really build progressively gives you a great sense of confidence in what the car is doing, real wheel drive platform. And I really think that some of the other brands, maybe that's what they're still trying to work on is getting that communication piece. But this IS350 F Sport, ton of fun, add it to your list. And if you want to keep seeing luxury sports coupes like these on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to my wonderful wife, Lori, production manager, videographer out here in the Florida sun. They say this is fall. We don't have a fall in Florida. We just have summer pretty much year round. So thank you for your hard work, Lori, and show her some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.